Hello, welcome to Board Game Base Coats, and today we're painting the Council of Osteomancy from the Court of the Dead Mourners Call board game. Now, this is the second of the f uh, Bone Faction figs, so let's go ahead and jump right in. First of all, the Zenithal highlighting. Uh, brown shot from the bottom and white shot from the top. Moving on, uh, painting up the bone. Now, this is the same mix I used uh, painting up the knighthood. And I went 50-50 Vallejo and uh, War Paint, uh, War Painter, uh, because my Vallejo is quite old, unfortunately. Um, but basically, two to one color to medium, and went ahead and shot the entire fig uh, with this base. Uh, after that, we moved on to the clothes. I envisioned a kind of monk, and it's got this kind of weird cape thing over some robes. So. Uh, use the brown to basically paint up the robes. Okay, so uh, that revealed some odd straps that I'd have to deal with and uh, went ahead and delayed that for now. Uh, moving on to the cape. Now, went for an orange here. Now, one of the things about Court of the Dead is uh, for some reason there's just no orange in it and I feel like it's a missing color. So uh, I really wanted orange on one of the figs and uh, yeah, this worked out nicely kind of gives it a Halloween vibe. I like it. All right, moving on. I'm uh, going to go ahead and tackle that leather. Now, this is the same leather I used uh, for the knighthood. Uh, again, two to one, color to medium. And uh, painting up uh, this sort of decorative piece was easy enough, but those straps needed some special attention. So used a flat brush to do it. Uh, that's my trick, folks. <laughs> I definitely recommend it to you if you're painting anything thin. And then... Moving on, the books. Uh, I'd originally thought to maybe do like a bunch of different colors, but oh, that would just take forever. So I went ahead and decided, well, in the land of the dead, all books are encyclopedias. So I uh, painted everything up uh, with purple. And away again, the flat brush uh, definitely helped out on the uh, covers there. All right, so uh, that took, takes care of the books. Moving on. Uh, at this point, the last uh, bit of color uh, was in the metal details. Now, this, of course, doesn't really have uh, armor, but two to one, uh, color to medium, painted up this crown and the uh, tips of the scroll, and there we go. That pretty much finishes off all the colors. Uh, next up, a uh, wash. This time I wanted to try a dark tone. Hadn't really seen it on this color scheme, and I didn't like it. So went back to the uh, strong tone that I used with the knighthood and uh, oh yeah that looked much better uh, on the figs. Then uh, last thing to do really uh, is to varnish. Now I really thought um, about, uh, by the way this is a one-to-one -one mix, uh, putting some design or something on the scroll, uh, maybe a transfer, but that can wait for another day. I really do want to get the figs done, and uh, yeah, this uh, will work nicely. Uh, it's quite shiny though, <laughs> so I have to mat uh, the clothing and the uh, cape there. And that pretty much wraps it up. So there we go. So two figs down, two uh, to go for spirit, and then two for flesh. And we'll get to that playthrough. Really looking forward to it. So thank you for stopping by for this uh, painting, and look forward to the playthrough. Thanks. Bye.